hello what's up today you are welcome to this video in today's video i'd like to show you how you can create your landing page whether you are creating facebook advertisement or you just want to drive free traffic to your affiliate product you have to create a landing page that welcomes your site visitors or your product visitors wherever your visitors are coming from you have to give them a landing page where they will first of all arrive before they cannot click on your affiliate link i'm going to show you exactly how you can design that page now there are so many ways you can start from it you can pick one website that you know you like the landing page or you like the the design then you are going to reproduce the exact way the person designed the the page take for instance this is one of my my landing page assuming i want to reproduce this one maybe this is not my own site and i want to reproduce exactly this so i'm going to teach you how you will do that now the first thing you have to do is to install this color pick eyedropper on your chrome browser this will enable you to copy the exact color you see on any website or on any page you can pick the exact color you see on any page or any image so first of all you have to install this uh, chrome browser which is called eyedropper color pick eyedropper okay once you have installed that extension then you are now going to create a page take for instance i go to my dashboard and i want to promote a specific product so i'm going to before i i create a page let me show you the product i want to promote this is the product i want to promote this is called video dashboard and before now i have already studied what the product is all about i have studied watch the videos to the end and see what people are saying about this product i've read what people are saying about this product i've made a lot of research on youtube on google so that i have all the details about this product because in your landing page you are going to discuss about the product so that the person that is visiting the product will have an idea because the person may not have heard of the product before and he will not be interested in buying it so we have to explain into detail what you know about the product what the product can solve the problem that it can solve and how the user will benefit from it if he eventually buys it so we have to make a lot of research to know now i've already made research and i have all the details but i'm going to summarize i'm going to summarize it because i'm not going to write it in form of blog if you want to write it in blog then in blog form then you will be targeting something like 500 words to 1000 words but this one I'm, i just want to create a landing page so that in case i'm running advertisement this is where my visitors will be landing so i've gotten the details and i've already i've already requested for approval for for this product so i have the approval already so what i'm i have my affiliate link this is my dashboard so if i want to get my affiliate link so i click on this and i will get my link here okay so if all these are set up the next thing is to create page for it so i go to my uh, dashboard my wordpress dashboard so i'm going to go to new and create new page and there are two web page builders two important web page builders for marketers 
uh, one of them is elemental and another one is insta builder so but for this landing page i want to use elemental because i discovered that insta builder normally misbehave once sometimes when somebody click on it the link will not be going through so i don't normally like using insta builder although the the page look very beautiful but the downside is that sometimes the link will be developing error so i don't well, that's why i don't like using insta builder that's why i like elemental elemental work perfectly but insta builder the page look beautiful but it developed a lot of errors so that sometimes when a user clicks on it the url will not will develop 404 error so i'm going to use elemental so i'm going to give it a type in a name uh, i'll give it video dashboard video dashboard review then i'm going to publish it then the next thing i will do is i'm going to set the page how i want the page to look like so um here i will not use the sidebar so no sidebar it's going to be full stretch so i'm going to use full stretch so that it will cover the whole of the screen then i'm going to disable header primary header i also disable title i will disable footer widget and for your information i'm using abstract team so your own may not look exactly like this if you are not using abstract team but if you are using you somehow you have a similar thing whatever team you are using it will always look similar but i am using astra and i like the way astra work so that is how it is i disable footer widget and I think that is all I need for now. Another one, one important thing that you will do is this set visual image. I'm going to hit set as visual image. Now, what this visual image does is that when you post this, when you share this page on Facebook, it's going to display this this picture on Facebook post and anybody that is interested in that topic if it clicks on it's automatically led to the page that means the image becomes that means the image becomes clickable that's how important this featured image is if you post this page on facebook if anybody clicks on it it will that it will be directed to this page instantly so that's how important it is so i'm going to update it then i check the the slug i think all this one are almost okay so i'm going to edit with elemental and meanwhile you have to install elemental plugin to your wordpress and you also install your elemental pro because i'm going to use elemental pro to do some of the things if you only have uh, a free version of elemental you may not be able to do some things that i will be doing here so you will need elemental pro to do some of the things that i'm going to do now all right now this is the empty page now i'm going to build this page from scratch now what i'm going to do now is i will i will click on this and i'm going to use one column 
now for this session for this section i'm going to use image for the background so that i want it to be look like this so i'm going to make it look like this as you can see this is an image that's serving as the background let's do, go to google and look for an image so if i type background or let me see i type c background background that will look that will look attractive i'm going to select images Okay, I think I like this image. I like this image. So I'm going to save it in my folder. You can give it any name you want to give it. I'll give it background. Let's say background 2 in case I have another one. Okay, so I go back to my page. This is the page that was. So you are going to click on this six dot here. Then you will go to background. Make sure the background is set, is selected. And you are going to click on this classic. Then you select image. Then I'm going to upload that one I downloaded before, which is this. Then I'm going to click open. You can also drag it whichever way you want it. Then I hit. Then what I'm going to do, the, the attachment, I'm going to select fixed. So that if somebody is scrolling it, the image will be fixed the image will not be moving then repeat i'm going to select no repeat then size i'm going to select cover or let's say default and let's see how it look like let me update that first okay the next thing is i want to bring in my text before i bring in my text i'm going to add an inner section to it so this inner section is the one that is going to carry the other images that i'm going to include in the page so i think i need a i need an image here so i'm going to delete one of the column and I will drag image then I'm going to select the image I want to use here I want to use this image so I will insert it okay I don't want the image to be too big so I'm going to reduce the size so what I'm going to do is if I click on this if I click on this pencil then i'll go to advance then i'm going to i'll let this this to be on then i'm going to in reduce reduce it on all side oh my god oh sorry the image we have selected before is it has watermark so we are going to select another image we can use that image it has watermark okay let's see whether this one does not have watermark okay this one is okay this one doesn't have watermark so i'm going to select this save as background 2 
we'll give it three now. So uh, for the background, I'm going to replace the image because I don't want to be seeing this watermark. It's not it's not acceptable. So I'm going to remove this image. I'll delete it permanently. I don't want it. Okay, I'm going to bring in another image which I downloaded before, which is background three. Then I'm going to insert. Okay, I think this is better now. So what we we'll do now is we want to bring in our logo and brand. So I am going to get another inner section and put it on the top. Okay, now this is the one that is going to carry our logo. Meanwhile, we have to set the the width of the content. Maybe I want the width to be 850. If you select it, you can you can now edit the width of the content. That means the width of the content of this inner section will only be 850 pixel so i am going to get my logo and the way i'll get my logo is i'll type brand and you can see site logo here so i'm going to put it here you can see it has brought my logo here this is my logo and that is the only thing i need there so this this image i want to push it up a little so i'm going to select it clicking on this pencil icon then i'm going to off this chain now then i will see what this margin will look like so i'm taking it up a little okay i think it's okay like this then if that is done the next thing we'll do is to bring in our text so i will bring in another inner section so i'm going to grab the inner section and put it here oh sorry this is inner section inner section cannot be in inner section we can put in our text here directly that is together with the image so we'll grab the text editor And for this inner section also, let's set the, the width of the content to be 850 pixel so that they will be uniform. Okay. Now, this is where you are going to write your text. So for this text, I'm going to bring in... Okay, now we need to change the background of this inner section so that we will be able to read what we have there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, clicking on these six dots. Then I'll go to style. I'll go to background. Then I'm going to select color. I'll select any color for now. Okay, I think it's now it has made some difference from the background. So we can easily read what we have written on it now. So what I'm going to do is I want to copy exact color I have here. So I'm going to pick my color eyedropper and click. If you click, you now see the color code has been selected. So I'll right click and copy. Then I'm going to close this. That means that copy that color code is now copied to the clipboard. So I'm going to go to that page. Then I will select this. I will select this and go to the color. Then I'll come down here and 
Ctrl V to paste it. Okay, you can see that color has now is now copied to this page. Then this text, I want to make it exactly as this color. Okay, I use white here, so I'm going to use white as well. So I'll select this and go to style, then select white so that it will be legible. Okay, then the next thing is we are going to type what we want our visitors to read here because they have to read so that they will be interested in what we are promoting. If they don't have any detail on what we are promoting, they will not be interested in buying it. So we need to let them know what the product is all about. I've already written something so that this one will not make the video too long. So I'm going to go to where I've already written something. This is what I've written concerning this video dashboard. So I want to copy everything. Control A, then copy. Then what I'm going to do is select this. Then I'll go to under content. I will highlight all this and paste. And paste what I've copied before. You can see this is it here. Yeah? Then this is the one I want to use for the heading. So I'm going to cut this. I want, I want to remove this. I'll use cut. I don't want that one to be there. Okay. Now what I will do is I'm going to grab a heading and I will put that one here. Control V. Then I'm going to center it. The color I want to use is white. Then I'll update it. Okay, I think our page is almost done. The next thing we will need is we will need a button. We will need a button like this. So, and you can see. If we want to create exactly like this, we have a space between the button and and this inner section. So I want to create that space now. So what I will do is I will click on this and get spacer. So I'm going to put a spacer here. All right, that is good. So this is the spacer. I will, I will increase it a little. Okay, so I'm going to grab button now and put the button after the spacer so that the, there will be a little space between the this inner section and, and the button. Then I'm going to type what the call to action will be. Click here. Click here to order video dashboard. Then I'm going to center it. The text. I'll click on this pencil. The size I will use, let's say I'll use 20. 20 pixel. Then the weight. I'll use 700. Let's look at our, our model. Okay, our model here, the hover is black, the text is black. So what I'm going to do is, I'll still select that, that the text for the button. Then I'll go to typography. When your typography is selected, you go to hover, you select hover, then text color, we use black. Or we can use the same color we have here. Let's use the same color we have here. So I'm going to call, copy that code. Then I'll come here and paste it here. Okay, okay. You can see when you are hovering it, you see the color. Then uh, for this... Okay, the hover here is 
but we can't pick the color here since um, is a hover stage it is a hover state so but what we'll do is we can pick the color of the normal state stage let's be pick the color of the normal stage of the button okay this is the normal stage this is the normal state then oh let me close that okay that is closed i will select the button then i'll go to color background color then i will paste okay that is done then the next thing is i want to make it to have border like we have here this one has border so i will select the border to be solid then the width i'm going to increase it to something like four then the color of the border i will select something like light blue okay i think this is good uh, still selecting it then the radius the border radius i'm going to increase it to something like 10 okay that is good then i can update it now you can see okay the background hover we have not worked on that yet we want the color to change when somebody is hovering on it so the background color when during hover should change to something like light dark blue okay I think dark blue will work fine I think the button is okay now now the next thing is the link to the button so if you select the button if you select the button here you go to under content this is where you are going to put your link now because this is a landing page we are going to put a link to our Aweba landing page. We are going to put the link to our Aweba landing page. And you can also put your form here. You want to put your form. But for the, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it like this so that when a visitor clicks on the link, he will not be taken to the opt-in form which is on the landing page with a waiver i'm going to do a separate video on that how you can create your landing page on a waiver so if we will now put the link here but i'm not going to do that now i'll do that later we'll put the link to our a waiver form here so that when somebody clicks on it he will now be taken to our Aweber form and there he will fill in his email and other details. Okay, so the next thing we'll do now is to put this, to fix in this, uh, this kind of uh, disclaimer and our privacy policy disclaimer and term of use. I think before now you must have created your privacy policy disclaimer terms of use and so on and so forth then all i'm going to do now is i'm going to grab this i'm going to copy all this you can copy this from any website that has it you can even copy it from my own website but the only thing you cannot copy is the privacy policy you have to create your own so that the link will be your own if you copy my own then the link will be directed to my own which will not be good so you have to create your own and link it to your, your own website so because this is mine i'm going to copy it now and go to that page so if i'm on that page now if you want to create okay we'll go to our page and what i'm going to do is I'm going to create another section and it will be one column 
so i will grab text and put here then i'm going to go to the editor here and control v i pasted it now the privacy policy and the disclaimer are not centralized so i'm going to click on it i'm going to highlight them and centralize them okay they are now centralized okay the next thing is the background color the background color so we will go to our case study and pick the background color we use our color picker then we we'll pick from anywhere here and copy then we we'll close this we'll go back to our page then i'm going to select that section and go to style then the background color we'll select it and select color we'll now paste the color that we have picked okay now our text is no longer legible our text is no longer legible so what happened okay the color here is black and that is why it is legible here let's click on this pencil click on that pencil then we'll click on typography then we'll select the color black okay now let's preview what we have done we click on this and right click we'll preview in we'll preview it in new new tab okay this is the preview it doesn't look fine so we are still going to work on it let's click on edit and work on it further okay i think the color of the footer is okay and what to do now is uh, the content is too wide the content is too wide so we are going to select the the section the main section and define the content let's say we'll define it as 1200 is white let's make it 1000 see 1000 pixel is wider it's still wide too oh uh, let's make it 900 okay then you can see when we preview it before it was not full it doesn't fool the page so we are going to select it and the let's look at the layout okay we we'll select the image the image which is position default then size we are going to use cover uh -huh. so that to cover the whole page okay now let's see let's preview it and see let's preview preview oh no okay i think uh -huh. this is better this is better okay this is exactly what we used to create it okay i think this one work fine then the next thing is i think i've already told you where you direct them to when they click on this button then you also create another page which will be thank you page and so we can copy this and put it here because some a lot of people are in a hurry let this button be here so that they cannot read to the end they can click on it here you paste 
now you are going to save this as a template because we want to use it for our thank you page the thank you page is the page they will be redirected to after filling their email address so we'll save this one first update this and this one this this page is not going to contain our event pixel then we'll go to you go to save option here you click on this little arrow here and save as template then we'll give it a name landing page 2 then click save then we cannot close this and we'll go back to dashboard let's go back to dashboard we want to create a thank you page now so we go to new new page then we'll give it video dash board thank you thank you page okay uh, we'll set it the same thing no sidebar no primary header no title then disable breadcrumb disable featured image then uh, disable this we'll leave the footer then having done all that okay then the content will be full stretch i think uh, we're okay with that we'll now publish it okay it's now published then we'll click on edit with elemental okay now we are in the elemental creator now so what we are going to do now is we are going to import the template we saved before so we'll click on this add template then we'll now go to my template we'll look for the one we created before which is landing page two okay this is it here yeah? so we'll click insert and click yes and wait for it to load okay now it has loaded then what we are going to do now is since this is our thank you page we are going to remove this text we don't need this text again then we will we will let this text be up here then we can write it here you you are welcome click on the okay you are welcome click on the button below to continue okay now this is where you are going to put your affiliate link this button is going to we don't need this we may not need this second button again because they are too close to each other so this is where your this is the button that is going to carry your affiliate link let me go and grab my affiliate link okay i've copied my affiliate link so i'm going to put my affiliate link on this button i've selected the button so i will paste my affiliate link here then 
this image also i want to hyperlink it so that in case they click on it they will be taken to my affiliate product immediately so i will select the image and i will select custom link then i'll put my affiliate link there as well i will update it okay this is done as far as fast as possible then this is where we are going to put our facebook event pixel because anybody that land here meaning that the person has entered his email address that means we have a lead for the person to visit this page meaning is a lead he has opt-in his email address so this is the page that is going to carry our event pixel and i taught you on how to create facebook advertisement in the video before if you have not yet watched that video you go and watch it and you will learn how to fix in your event pixel so this is where we are going to put in our event pixel and briefly i show you how you can do that so if you click on here you can type html then you now drag this to anywhere here then you now paste your event your facebook event pixel here and hit save before anybody can come to this page he must have obtained his email address and he will now be recorded as a lead for you on facebook let's update it and let's look at the mobile version very important because a lot of people use mobile okay oh the image does not look fine on mobile so let's work on it i will select the image uh -huh. i think this is better okay then we'll update it apart from that all other things are okay then let's look at it on tablet okay i think it's okay on tablet all right we are good to go let's preview what we have okay fine this is okay so when they click on it they are going to learn to your affiliate products thank you for watching this this video and see you again in the next video if you like the video let me see you give me thumbs up subscribe to my channel so that you can receive more videos from this channel and also let me know your comment in the comment section if you enjoyed this video let me know your comment in the comment section thank you for watching this video again bye